Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Layout Build Series. Today we're getting into some scenery, but before we get into that, I did get a couple things done since the last episode. This area for starters is completely paved, and I used joint compound like I did for the rest of the industry and it came out quite nice. There is a spot that needs fixed, but I'll do that some other time. I also added a sidewalk for the other side of the tracks to sort of prepare for the scenery we do today. Lastly, I did add some grass to this little curb area, which makes it look a lot more better. Today we'll be using all of this stuff here. First up to be used is this sculpt bowl To use this, you'll of course need some water and a cup or a bowl to mix it in. The main spot we'll be working on is right here. Time to mix them together and place where needed. This stuff is non-toxic, but it is very messy material. Before we do get into the main area, I do build up the ground right here and I also patch up any holes in the foam. With larger areas like this, I do like to rough up the foam with a wire brush just so the sculpt mold sticks better. Now time for the fun part. I'm going for small subtle hills to add some dimension to our flat layout. There are no blueprints to this kind of thing, but you just kind of go with the flow and kind of see what looks good in your own eyes. After about 20 minutes, we have a nice smooth hill. I also did fill any other holes where I had trees previously. Next up is dirt, which I get from my own backyard, and it is also baked to kill any bacteria or any critters. I then sift the dirt with a strainer to get a finer consistency. You can see the difference between the old dirt and the new one that's actually been added. Grout mix is added to get a lighter color. Before we do add the dirt, we must paint all that white away. And yes, I could have used a bigger brush, but this worked just fine. After the paint dries, I decided to use a Mod Podge and water mix to lay down before I actually put the dirt on. This is a method I'll most likely stick to for future occasions. Prior to putting the fine dirt down, I do sprinkle some of the larger pieces that we sift out previously. This way it does add another level of texture.
finally we could get to applying the dirt. Isopropyl alcohol is next up. This just makes the glue soak in a lot more easier. The glue I am using is the same mix that we made previously. I'm weighing down the sidewalks here while it dries, just to prevent any bowing of the sidewalk. It is now day three and we can get to the greenery of this scene. Here it is almost completely dry. There are some spots that are still a little damp, but it won't really matter in the end. So I did actually have one last stop sign, so I decided to place it here in front of the crossing signal. Little details like this are endless when it comes to making the layout. Before the grass, I do poke a hole where the tree will be, so I don't actually put grass there. Glue is down where I want the grass, and now to transform this area for good. When I run out, I vacuum the extra grass up, and I put any extra back right into the static grass applicator. Tree is glued down, and now all I'll be doing is adding some bushes and some smaller details. In the end I did actually add some Douglas fir trees I had previously made before. I'll link down below how I made them from scratch if you want to check it out. Things aren't completely dry yet, but you can kind of see what it's going to look like in the end. And so far this scene is starting to look really nice. So at this point I am pretty satisfied, but this is pretty much as far as I got this week. So obviously in the end we didn't get too much done coverage wise, but overall I'm really happy with how the scene turned out and kind of makes me look forward to doing the other scenes on the layout. So as always, if you guys could subscribe and like, it really does help the channel out quite a bit and it does let me know that you guys are still watching and still enjoy the content. And I do want to say that I thank each and every one of you guys that do subscribe. So on that note, I will catch you guys in the next week's episode.